Hey guys, welcome back. It's your girl, Dr. Samara, and I am back with another video. In this video, guys, I'm just going to discuss the broker Fintora and some of the things that it has um, as far as my interest because I am currently using Fintora. And then also, if you haven't already, go ahead and go like, comment, and subscribe to your girl's channel because it is what? It is free, and let's get into this video. <laughs> He want the spoon, she want the tea, she want the tea. I cannot speak, we keep it in street, we keep it in street. I took a loss, but you still gonna get beat. You still gonna fit. How much it costs? It never been cheap. All right, guys. So with Ventura. This is basically the new platform that Hanko Trade. If you are familiar with Hanko Trade, prior um, I was trading with Hanko Trade. Um, prior to Fintora. However, um, if you guys have been up to date recently, um, MetaQuotes have um, basically um, executed a lot of unregulated brokers. And unfortunately, Hanko Trade is unregulated, but it is a really good broker that I really use a lot um, during my time of trading. However, Hanko Trade has partnered with Fintora for the ones who are unable to use Hankle Trade um, on an MT4 platform. And that's one of the biggest things um, because for me, um, I wasn't interested in looking into other platforms other than Metaphor because I took my time, my energy, and patience to really understand MT4. And I just don't want to go through that whole. Um, that whole situation again, all over again, trying to understand a new platform that I uh, shouldn't have to do. So fortunately, Hanko Trade was able to partner up with Ventura. So pretty much it's the same setup, just like Hanko Trade, but it's specifically more for our traders who are unable to trade Hanko Trade on their MT4 platform. So if you are one of those traders who are currently able to trade on Hanko Trade on the MT4 or MT5 platform, you can continue on trading Hanko Trade. However, if you are someone who is not interested into other different platforms um, to get your money or whatever the case may be, and you really enjoy trading off of Hanko Trade, you can use Fintora because basically it is the same thing. And so this is basically the broker of the year that I am deciding to go with um, simply because it is easy. Um, it has all of the pairs that I like to trade. You guys already know specifically it's US 30. Um, they have US 30 and their spreads are just as similar to Hanko Trade and the minimum deposit, if you are someone who doesn't have that much funds as of, as of yet, and you're starting from a smaller deposit, the minimum deposit is $10. You can't beat that. That's similar to Hanko Trade. And then as I stated to you guys before, you have over 100 plus tradable instruments, which is basically the pairs that you can trade. And then on top of that, you can have access to the leverage of one to 500. That was something that was big to me because as you guys already know, this means that you have the ability to ride through the wave without getting kicked out of the market too soon because of the leverage. As I've already stated before, guys, they have the Forex, they have the indices, the metals, as well as crypto. So if you are looking into trading Bitcoin, you can trade Bit Bitcoin off of Ventura. OK, and then on top of that, it goes into the many different uh, necessities, like as far as like your experience within the environment um, of Ventura. So it goes into more detail on that. Um, and then also it goes over how they have a low commission upon their spread. When you do make a deposit into your account, it instantly gets into your account. There's no waiting um, like waiting for 24 to 48 hours, they instantly, once they see that it's valid and, and it's verified, it's instantly in your account. And then on top of that, there's no, there's no charge when it comes to 
making a deposit as well as making a withdrawal. Of course, when you do make a withdrawal through Bitcoin and you know any cryptocurrency, of course, whatever third party you use to get that money from whatever broker, of course, there's going to be a fee from that third party. However, it's not going to be a fee from Ventura. So if you have 5,000 in your account and you want to take out 5,000, you're going to take out 5,000. However, keep in mind that whatever third party that you use to take that money from your broker, they are going to ask for some sort of exchange of um, some sort of fee, okay? And then another thing is 24 hour, five days a week client support, okay? So if you have any issues, any problems or anything in that nature, you have access to the client support as well. As far as the pricing, okay? So there's many different platforms that they have as far as um, what component you may want to select. Um, they have from zero to prime. Um, currently, uh, it really just depends on what you as the trader prefer. Um, as I stated before, guys, I am not a financial advisor. So whichever account that best suits you, you can do that. Um, me, I have gone with the prime commission account. So that is my account. Um, but you may want to do zero or pro, or you may want to do prime. Um, but just keep in mind that um, the deposits are different, okay? So as you see in zero and pro, the minimum deposit is $10. So if you are a trader who is starting off with a small account, I would select this. However, if you are a trader who's a little bit more on the intermediate to maybe um, a more experienced trader, um, you know, you could use the Prime, okay? With Ventura, it is currently on MC4, okay? Um, that is currently what the trading platform is on. Now, it's not on MT5 just yet. So what I have done, guys, is I just went into my account. I currently have a live account. However, I'm going to show you guys how to create an account, okay? So before you get started, um, you want to make sure that you sign up with Ventura and this is basically how your profile is going to look, okay? This is where you have your live account and then you can deposit your funds. So I just wanted to show you guys how to deposit your funds. You will select your trading ID, which, you know, all you got to do is just uh, select this arrow here and then um, it will be all of the accounts that you have set up as a live account. And then for the deposit currencies, you have many different options. You have Dogecoin, Bitcoin Cash, ETH, and Bitcoin. 30 to 45 minutes, can't beat that, all right? And here is my demo, okay? So I'm gonna show you guys how to create a demo account. It's super, super easy. What you're going to do is, all you gotta do is select here on the right corner, create demo account. Create account, okay? All right, so me, I go to Prime, okay? And there's many different leverages. Of course, guys, I'm doing the 500 max. Currency, I'm doing USD, okay? All right, so we're creating our demo. It's loading. All right, guys, so this is now my demo account. So as you can see, this is, the information that they send to you. Now, the next thing is that you wanna to go to your email. So basically when you get into your MT4, you're just gonna search up Ventura, um, whether you want to do a real or demo account, all you have to do is just go to your email and they will send that information over to you, to your account. And then here you go. Um, this is my demo account um, and then here is basically the charts and then also um, make sure that you have your balance as well.